staff ya kuempower vijana ili tuzungumze vizuri kwa sababu mimi nimeona hata mimi kama mheshimiwa saa zingine vijana wananikosea heshima wajua sasa ile waliweka namba yangu kwa mtandao wakaanza kusalimia kila mtu ni wao wamenitumia mapicha ya vitu ambao hata sijui wanafikiria ni nini hiyo kitu lazima niangalie ha? wengine wananiambia wako na ma inches ha? inches na inches sasa mimi najiuliza wewe ni kijana kama mtoto wangu mimi ni kuna miaka sitini alafu unaniwambia uko na inches alafu unatoa una surali unachukua picha hata nijasimama unanitumia kwa sababu hiyo yako weti kupiga picha kwa sababu ukiweka picha haionekani ha vijana muwe na heshima tafadhali kwa sababu kama mnafikiria kama mnafikiria mimi kama mama siwezi kuwaona lakini mujue Mungu halali na Mungu akiona umekosea wacha kwa Biblia kwa Biblia inasema ona your mother and your father. Haijasema birth mother, birth father. Haijasema mother na father ule amekuzaa. Ni ona your mother and your father. Mtu yoyote ambaye anaweza kuwa mama yako kwa sababu ya rika. Mtu yoyote ambaye anaweza kuwa na baba ya, kama baba yako kwa sababu ya rika. Unafaa umpatie heshima. Sa ile vijana mnakosea wa mama heshima au mnakosea wanaumba mababa heshima mujue Mungu anawaona na Mungu akiona umefanya vibaya haezi kufurahi na maisha yako haiezi kwenda vizuri so mimi ninataka kuambia hata musalimie mara ngapi sisi tutaendelea kufanya kazi kulingana na zile kura tulipata kufanyia wakenya wote kazi mpaka tufike hiyo siku ya elections Wajua kutishwa tishwa kila saa mimi nawaambia wajua atujui ya kesho leo nimesimama hapa kesho siwezi kuwa hapa labda ha? sisi tunafaa tukae na amani tufanye kazi tujenge nchi yetu tujenge jamii yetu tujenge familia yetu huko bunge linapigania free education free secondary there is a video trending online about the Nairobi women rap ranting and crying that the young people or the young Nairobians. In fact, the young Gen Zs don't respect him anymore. Since ever her number was leaked online during the finance bill issues, she has come out to say that indeed she has suffered the most. Where young man, take off their trousers, capture the cucumber and send him photos. And he was like, whoa, 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 you people don't respect me. You should respect me. I'm 60 years old. I'm just like your mothers. And even God will teach you a lesson but there's something interesting even she went further to say that some of these things are sending cucumbers which are not standing just imagine so what did this imply did it imply that the young people should stop sending her or they're just messing around with him so it was very unfortunate that the young people have been sending her these kind of erotic photos and the impact which they have had in her life since they have been traumatizing her. In another story is that Morara Kibaso was in this area. Alright, I'm here in Rombo. Rombo is in Kajiado County. This is Rombo Ward. And this is the construction of a tomato processing factory for 430 million shillings by Ensda. Ensda is a Wasonyiro South Development Authority. Alright. The contractor is Cathos Building and Construction Limited. So this was a project for tomato processing. Remember, this area produces a lot of tomatoes, like nowhere in Kenya. And it's a project that um, would have helped the farmers of tomato from this area. This area, in one year alone, it can produce up to 1.6 billion shillings worth of tomatoes. All right. So Wanalisha Kenya. Uh, we really hope that this project would have been complete for 430 million, but it has stalled and we do not know why. So here is our tomato uh, processing factory. 
hapa Kajiado ya yeah? Ewasonyiro South Development Authority so you know um, the MD for Ewasonyiro uh, South uh, Development Authority is uh, Ngala Loitiptip ya yeah? Ngala Loitiptip is the MD ni mtu wa nyumbani hapa i thought he would even have a soft spot <laughs> for this project so as to ensure since ni akuao to ensure that it is well done but uh, currently this is the situation as you can see the tomato processing factory has stalled right this was allocated 430 million now you see now you don't now you see now you don't right so this is it uh the gate is a bit closed let's see ah my chav yes so here is our tomato processing factory nyanya nyanya i told you this area produces almost 1.6 billion worth of tomatoes in a year this is a factory that will be benefiting the farmers of Kajiado. Hapa watu wangekuwa makash money ma, watu wangekuwa maziwa, watu wangekuwa wametoka block, eh? Kenyans would have been elevated from poverty. Lakini sasa ni Morara ndani ya factory akijiongelesha peke yake kama mwenda wazimu. Factory ime stall, haiendelei, imesimama. Wizi wizi bila kazi. Wizi wizi bila nini? Bila kazi. There is this banana there is this tomato processing factory which is worth 430 million in Kajiado South which was supposed to be the game changer in this region and even enhance the lives of the people who live in this region but shockingly the way it appears or the way it looks like is something which is still miles away from being completed. It was being done by Ewasonyiro Development Authority and maybe they have the reasons why the project might not be complete at the moment because it might be insufficient of funds, the politics and many other things. And when you look at this factory, it was supposed to be the very big game changer in this region, enhancing or changing the face of development. This region is said that it produces up to 1.6 billion worth of tomatoes every year. That means that this project indeed could have changed the lives of the young men and women of this area by providing them value addition to tomatoes, especially small-scale farmers. When you look it at a perspective where the young small-scale farmers won't be able to achieve greater markets then this project was to come in and enhance in value addition things like chilies tomato sauce and even animal feed from tomato fibers and many other things but the project is really far from completion and thus begs the question who is the wrong one here what is going to happen in the coming years that's it for today make sure you keep it more at TV.